What's up everyone? I'm Sage Kotzenberg and this is the Blackboard Experiment. Last April, Snowboarder Magazine brought me out to Mammoth to do a blind board test like no other. When I was writing all these boards, I had no idea who made them. They were completely anonymous. It was like writing a blank canvas. To determine which one was the best overall park board, I graded each one in four categories. Jumping, jibbing, transition, and carving. Got board number eight here. Really like the shape of this one and how it feels under my hand, so I'm gonna go take it for a couple laps and see how she does. Alright, number eight. Let's see my impressions on this one. Jibs. It gets an eight. Uh, great for big jibs, small jibs, any kind of jibs. Really easy to press. Really easy to spin on and off. Solid board. For jumps, I also gave it an eight. I feel comfortable actually snowboarding on this thing. Going into the rails, I felt like I could adjust really properly. On the jumps, it felt really sturdy. Buttering is so fun on this thing. So. And for transitions, another eight. This is a solid board. Uh, really stable on the edge, really good pop, and uh, handles bumps like a boss. For carving, what do you know? Another eight. Really good, really responsive, uh, quick edge to edge, amazing for butters, really awesome. That gives us a massive score of 32. And I'm really interested to see what this board is. I've been guessing the last couple days. It is a Solomon Huck Knife. I thought it was a Solomon. Really good all around board. Works good for jibs, jumps, transitions, carves, really whatever you want in the park, inside or out. Really solid board. I'm Kevin Stevenson. I'm uh, the Global Sports Marketing Manager and USA Brand Marketing Manager for Solomon Snowboards. For the Blackboard experiment, the Huck Knife was the obvious choice for us because it's a brand new park board. It's, that's what it's for. It was designed uh, with Hans and Nils and Nick in mind. They tested it. This is our, you know, flagship park board that it's, it's the one. It's the park board that we make that's, you know, that's meant to do all that good stuff. And the other thing with this board is that it was meant to be affordable. So it's not a super expensive board either. 